Hey, this is Key from Save the Rust. So uh, today we got a special guest here. It's uh, a little brother, Jeremy. Um, and we're going to go and check out this uh, this little uh, trike thing I found last weekend and uh, made a deal on. This was at a guy uh, I've known for a couple of years. It's actually the guy we got the Flanders from. So um, it's pretty interesting. He's got an old farmstead and uh, we're looking around for some old stuff for the other last weekend, hoping to find the rear wheel for the uh, Flanders and stumble upon this little beauty. So follow along as we uh, we go and dig this thing out. I gotta go this way. So we saw this last weekend. I had to kind of just kind of stumble upon it. All of a sudden, so the handlebars sticking out. Tri sport. Let's get this thing out of here. Can you lift this? I think this is that how deep the legs yeah, were? The the yeah, the table was a foot <laughs> in the ground. <laughs> Mikey use these for a trailer. They're nice little tires. These go. Okay. Here, you have to pull it your way just a couple a foot so I can get I past there. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get it. Like past all this stuff though. You might have to lift it on its side to get it out of here. thing to come back and forth from these houses that? you could have drove this back and forth from the you know, houses uh, like my daughter that was just left here uh, they all drove it yeah. yeah oh it's actually pretty light this is exactly what Laurel had that's what I was thinking because we used to put our feet on there yeah our uh my dad's cousin had one of these when we were young it's in the rent but not with the body and yeah. no motor on it we just push us push ourselves back and forth on the on the driveway with it. It's a little bit more. There we go. You think you will like turn it sideways? Yeah, just keep going. That's awesome. That's extra, isn't it? The motor turns over. <laughs> oh, it didn't start. But that motor is not that. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge motor. Holy. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's even that much. <laughs> MTS 30. So we got this unloaded. It's um, about a early 70s, mid 70s tri sport. Uh, from the research I did, there's like five different models from four horsepower to eight, maybe 12 horsepower. I gotta do some more research. But uh, my brother was uh, telling me, he's like, Do you remember one of our cousins had one of these? But from what we remember, there was no fiberglass and we used to push each other around. And I kind of remembered that, you know, like it looks so familiar. So it's kind of uh, kind of interesting, like 40 years later, uh, we picked one up tonight. 
that had been sitting for probably 30 or 40 years. So we're gonna give this thing a little wash and uh, see what it looks like. But it already, it turns over, motor's not seized and uh, never know, it could run. So we're gonna wash this thing up and see what it looks like. Um, really cool little piece, I mean, I don't know. It's just uh, so 70s, you know, it's not, you know, when people think of trikes, they look at a Honda three-wheeler and, you know, that's what they have in their head. But this is just like the first version of this kind of stuff was uh, made by some company and they called Tri-Sport, which I don't really know much of the uh, history, but we're gonna give this a wash right away. So I'll give you a little tour first of it before we uh, get all this 40 years of dust and grime off. So, looks like it's got a little Briggs and Stratton motor. Turns over. There's the pull, there's know, something there. The, obviously the uh, throttle was broken at one point. There's a cable, looks like it's just attached here. So we'll pull that off. Um, must have been broken off the handlebars. Fiberglass body, you know. This is the Allstate MTS 30. What that means, I have no idea. And what's wild is how you, uh, you know, you put your feet on the pegs that are next to the wheel. So as you're turning, your legs are turning. Oh, that's cool. I like it. So we got her cleaned up, check for spark, no spark, check compression, very little. So right at this point, we're just, uh, you know, that's it for tonight. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of, uh, you know, looking at a couple motors that the place called Princess Auto sells, that it'd be like a little direct replacement um, if we can't get this one running, but no big deal. Um, we just got it tonight. It was sitting underneath, uh, you know, an old, uh, trailer in a Quonset on a farm for like 30, 40 years. So first time in, uh, 30, 40 years, it's in a garage and, uh, it won't sit outside again. So follow along. Thanks for subscribing. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I did. I, I love this kind of stuff, you know, saving the rust. Because this is who we are, this is what we do.